Hey guys, I'm Petty and today we want to check out nine different string sets. Have fun! Okay, today we want to answer the question about strings. You all know the questions, what, quest, uh, what string do you play, uh, what size of strings do you play, how does they sound. Um, you all know the questions about strings. Um, and today I want to check out um, the sound difference between uh, different uh, string sets. I ordered eight different string sets um, that we compare with each other and um, on my guitar there are three or two month old um, elixir strings. So at first I want to answer the question about sound differences between old and new strings. So I will start playing the riffs with my um, with my guitar with the old strings, two month or three month old, um, and afterwards uh, I will play with the new Alexa strings. Um, so that we have a directly comparison between old and new. Um, and the other sets afterwards. Um, at the end of the video I will share my subjective um, impressions with you because of the com um, compression of YouTube. Um, the sound for you is uh, different uh, to the sound to me, um, but we will see. Um, all string sets are 10 to 52 and what we have? We have Elixir strings I prefer elixir strings because of the um, haptic um, and the sound. Um, they are expensive if you um, put them on all your guitars, but uh, I think um, they are very, very cool. Okay, um, then we have Dunlop Kerry King signature strings. The cool thing of them is um, that they come with a second low E string. Um, the string set is 10 to 46, but if you want to um, play with drop tunings, um, you have another 52 string in the box. So, then we have the normal any ball strings. Um, I don't like any ball strings, but um, I have to be subjective and so we want to check them out. Then we have GHS Boomers, um, nickel round steel strings. Then we have Roto Sounds RH10, Roto Blues. Don't know them, I ordered them um, because they are 10 to 52, so we check them out. And then we have um, a German brand, it's Pyramid, and this is um, the, the difference between Pyramid strings and the other strings, um, uh, like Ernie Ball or the Roto Blues or the Boomers. Um, are that they don't uh, wound with um, a nickel, they are wound with monal steel. Um, don't know what it is, but on the website they said that um, that in former times monal were used um, for electric guitar strings um, in the 50s or 60s. So. This is really, really vintage. <laughs> okay, um, last but not least, uh, Der Dario, two times. Um, the old and normal XLs, nickel wound steel string. And then we have the new NYXL. Um, the new NYXL are very expensive. I think they cost twice as much um, as the normal XL costs. So we want to check them out and um, the Dario set, the Dario NYXL strings will bend further, sing louder and stay in tune better than any guitar string ever made. 
you're about to be heard more clearly than ever before. Get ready for an encore. Okay, um, yes, um, they cost about uh, 14 euro. It's um, on Anatens, I saw it for 13 pound. Um, don't know what it is in um, dollars, so um, use Google. <laughs> okay, they are um, um, made with carbon and um, wound with a new uh, new nickel plating. Okay, um, let's check it out. For the test, I'm very subjective because I'm looking for new strings for myself. Because uh, when you play at home more often than on stage or with the band or whatever, um, you ever search for a new tone. For example, today I love this amp settings and tomorrow I hate them. I think it's a psychological thing. So <laughs> the signal chain will always be the same. Um, the guitar is the same, the pickups are the same, um, the amp is the same, it's a blue deluxe, you see without a speaker because the speaker is uh, over there. Um, the speaker um, in the Grossman audio box, it's an isolation cabinet, um, will be used. Um, it's a um, vintage 30 speaker by Celestion. And um, I use the uh, SM40, uh, SM57 uh, for recording. Um, the only thing I change are the strings. Okay, uh, at the end of the video, I will give you my subjective impressions. So let's check them out.
Hey, I'm very surprised. Um, I haven't expected such a sound difference uh, like this. Um, I hope the YouTube compression massacre um, allows you to hear the differences between those uh, different string sets. Compared to the new ones, the old Elixir strings sounds a bit different. Um, and um, they sound a bit worn. The difference is marginal, so it's, uh, it doesn't set the world on fire. Um, I thought so, but um, I, can't, I couldn't hear um, such a um, big difference. The new Elixir strings sound more accurate and more balanced. Um, they are my favorite strings uh, for many years now. The Dunlop KFK, uh, Kerry King signature set, um, they are unexpected good. Um, they give you defined single notes and a clear bass response. Yes, Ernie Ball. I don't like Ernie Ball strings because um, in former times I only played Ernie Ball. But um, on stage, um, many, many strings um, um, were broken, so um, I changed the strings to Elixir. But what I'm bound to say, the treble response of any board strings is um, very okay. The GHS Boomers, in my opinion, the worst ones from other string sets I tested yet um, because um, there are no exact uh, string separation, rough highs um, and uh, undefined um, bass response. I don't like these strings. Roto sound. Um, the roto sounds, I think they don't have uh, an own character. So uh, I don't like this. Mm, I think if you um, change anything on your sound, um, you want a new type of character in your sound. And the rotor sounds um, don't do this. And if you um, change your strings, you have um, to bend them um, very, very often so that they stay in tune. The pyramid strings. Uh, wound with um, monal steel, you can hear that they are much um, quieter than the others. Um, also, they have uh, a soft bass response and a very, very nice uh, clarity. Um, but I think um, they weren't made for heavy sounds. Um, I think they were made for um, blues, country, uh, old school rock and stuff like this. But I like the sound. The Dario XL. I think they are well balanced and sound very, very dynamically. Um, and in view of the price, um, if I would go on tour, I would use these strings. The Dario NYXL. Um, they sound very um, balanced and um, have a nice clarity. They are mid focused. There are no muddy um, bass response and no rough um, treble response. Um, I want to do a long term test with them um, about staying in tune and the durability. Um, I think they sound better than all the others um, for, um, for my ears. Um, but in view of the price, <laughs> um, I think in the studio for recording or practicing at home, um, I will use them. Um, but if I will be on tour, um, where you have to um, restring your guitar much um, uh, more often than uh, at home. Um, 
there I will, I will play the Darius um, Exile. Um, yes, what can I say? Um, the NYXLs are too expensive uh, for um, uh, restring more often than twice in a month. I think it's my opinion. If I'm searching uh, new strings for my uh, guitars, um, I take a look at uh, four different categories um, which are very important for me. Um, at first, there's a sound. Um, in view of the bass response, the treble response, the clarity and the balance. Um, the second uh, category is the haptic. Um, how do they feel under my fingers? Because um, I have to uh, put my fingers on them um, for hours after hours after hour, you know. Um, at third, um, the durability. Um, but only for playing at home and in the um, at the rehearsal room. Uh, not on stage. On stage, uh, um, you restring more often than uh, once in a month. And the fourth category is um, the price. The price in view of the sound, the haptic, and the durability. Okay, um, I finally uh, take three of these um, string sets and make uh, and make my own uh, top three uh, for each category. Um, for the sound, on the third place for me are the Elixir strings, on the second place the Daddario XL and on the first place the Daddario NYXL. The second category, the Haptic, um, on the third place are the Pyramid because I, um, um, I, I, like, I like the feeling under my finger of these uh, strings. Um, on place two, there are the Elixir strings um, because uh, I like them uh, for, for many years uh, now. Um, and on place one, the Dead Dario NYXL. Okay, the durability, um, you have to do a long term test uh, to give a true statement about that. Um, so here's no top three, but what I can say is that the Elixir strings um, are very um, durable. Um, uh, you, you, you heard my um, strings, they were up to two or three months on my guitar. Okay, um, the fourth category, the price on place number three. The Elixir strings, um, they are expensive, but you get um, very, very, very um, much um, tone for the price. Um, on place two, the Daddario XL, because um, all round strings and um, um, they sound really good. Um, on place one, in view of the price, um, are the Dunlop KFK Carry King. Um, what can I say? I um, like these strings. Don't know why, but they sound great. The haptic uh, is um, um, on Elixir and uh, the Dar Darius um, much better, but um, the sound is um, very, very okay. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my video. I'm Patty. See you next time.